Hey everybody, what's going on? Mr. Tony of the Dead here and I have another movie review for everybody out there. And this time I'm going to be talking about The Shed. This is from RLJ Entertainment and it's written and directed by Frank Sabatella. And what this is about, it follows this guy named Stan. He's had a really tough life. His parents uh, died. He's living with his grandfather who like beats him. And there's bullies at school where him and his best friend you know, are victims of that. You know, it's a small kind of town. And, you know, everybody knows everybody's business. There's cliques and all that kind of stuff. Typical, you know, high school bullshit. And one day he's going to co go cut the grass and he realizes something is in his barn, or in his shed. And uh, there discovers that it's a vampire. And he's trying to keep the vampire in there, you know, as long as he could till he could figure out what to do with him and everything. And then, you know, things happen in the process of him trying not to let the vampire get out. Now this is the DVD of the movie. There is also a Blu-ray. I uh, unfortunately didn't get a copy of the Blu-ray. I got obviously a copy of the DVD and it's 97 minutes long. The co the the uh, you know quality on the, of the DVD, the picture, it did not look very good to me. Like it looked pretty bad. I'm sure Blu-ray looks really good. Like this is okay. And, and you know I'm saying this while there's VHS behind me I know the quality of VHS but I thought for a DVD it was pretty bad you know but I guess hopefully the blu-ray would be a lot better but um, yeah this is like a 2020 and uh, I will say I thought the score for this movie was really really good it is a lot of like um like sad kind of like um kind of along the lines of the cure kind of like uh, it's not they don't play the cure but they there's songs that are played that sound like the cure and i really liked the soundtrack to this it was very good uh i thought the acting was very good uh, i really liked stan and uh, his best friend named uh Dahmer, or domer um he um he's very angry just a very angry teen and uh the vampire it, 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 it's kind of strange, and I'm trying to try not to spoil anything, but like people get turned really quickly. It seems, especially when the vampire is in the beginning, just shows him in the woods and he gets bit, and then that vampire gets in the sun, and then all of a sudden he becomes a vampire very fast, and he has to get out of the sun. That's why he runs into the shed, and so people change very quickly. But some people that got bit by him, you never see again. And then others, they're quickly changed like just like that. And I don't know, it's like weird continuation with that. Um, and the ending I have a little trouble with, which I can't say what happens. But, you know, uh, I, I didn't mind this movie. I, I really liked it. Um, but I don't know how much I'd watch of it again. I don't know if I would watch it again, I should say. Um, I wanted more of the vampire. They The ending was good. Like the whole ending part was pretty good but you're learning you know you're you're learning more about the character the, the development and everything and that's fine but you're not really seeing what's going on in the shed with the vampire they do like a quick little thing in there once for him but like you don't really I want to see what he's doing out throughout the day you know what he's thinking because you think he doesn't talk and then later on at the at you know at the end of the movie he says a few words so he can talk so I want to know what he's doing and why he doesn't answer this kid when he's t saying who's there who are you and all that so I want to know more about the vampire and all that kind of stuff and I'd like to know more of what happened like where did this other vampire come from so I don't know if there's gonna be another movie you know based on maybe they're gonna go after other ones I don't know but uh, it'd be interesting to see but yeah I thought the the main character um, I'm gonna guess it's JJ Warren I thought he did a, an excellent job um, everybody did a really good job acting in this uh, it starts off like like him the kid has nightmares I'll tell you but he wakes up and his mom wakes him up and it's kind of weird she's very very happy smiling she's it's it's very kind of a strange affection she has for her son go downstairs he sees the parents kissing he's like oh gross and she's like saying about her him kissing so-and-so at the Sadie Hawkins dance and 
and then all of a sudden like they're talking and that and he's gonna go on this trip with his dad so everything's perfect and I'm like something's off here and the next thing you know her his mother is in like this gown and she has she's bald so I'm thinking she died of cancer and the father shot himself it like turned like in this super it's very right in the beginning so it's not giving anything away but it's right in the very beginning and everything is super happy and then all of a sudden it just turns dark like instant and he just has these horrifying nightmares like vivid and he wakes up sweating screaming it's crazy like I've never had a nightmare like that I'm you know I'm glad I never did but it's pretty crazy but yeah um he has a love interest in this as it was well and all that um but yeah pretty good acting uh and a, a decent movie but I think I just wanted more of the vampire and then uh you know there was there were you could tell there was a little bit of elements they they like to uh I shouldn't say uh, influenced I guess by like Fright Night and um there was a line they took from Sleepaway Camp it's like eat shit and die, eat shit, eat shit and live, which I liked. I thought that was pretty good. You know, instantly I was like, ooh, I like that. But um, yeah, I mean, I would say give it a shot. It's a different kind of vampire movie, um, in a way because it's in a shed, <laughs> you know. But like the whole changing and stuff, and you know, they don't look. They're not like you know, normal looking and and you know, attractive or anything. They have like sharp teeth and that and they're like you know disfigured a little bit you know that you could tell they're not human so at least they're not like walking around like normal people I mean nothing there's not that there's anything wrong with that but you know at least it's something different but yeah I'd say give it a shot it's not that bad but honestly I don't know if I'd watch it again maybe down the road I always say that maybe down the road I'd watch it but I didn't have the urge to watch it right away but I'll tell you what though the, the soundtrack to this if if this ever came out on uh, like if they have a soundtrack to it on like CD or I guess digital you know whatever I would listen to it because I'm interested in the bands that were on there and I'm sure they're all on his room you know, there's posters all over his room of these bands and the shirts he's wearing I don't know who they were in any, or anything but I'm sure it was a couple of those but really catchy tunes so yeah I, I really liked it uh, that but uh yeah I'd like to see also what the blu-ray looks like I was a little late in requesting this for review so I only got the DVD but you know I'm glad I got to see it because I heard about this and this also this comes out on January 7th so you could check it out then DVD and blu-ray so uh, 2020 by the way and it says it's from the executive producer of the Saw franchise on the inside here this is just a different uh, cover and you can reverse it but the artwork is the same cover as the slip uh, the slip cover but uh, you know I like I really like that I like the hand coming out I wish that was on a slip cover instead of this but you know it is what it is but there are no special features except for like you know the captions and stuff like that but uh, there's you know not much to it and I don't know it's not rated but I don't know what region this is so I can't help you out there it doesn't say but that's all I'm gonna say about the shed for now pretty cool it is a cool cover because this is embossed I like that I like the little extra you know the embossed there pretty cool but uh yeah so yeah that's all I'm gonna say well that's it everybody thanks for watching make sure you give this video a thumbs up hit the subscribe button and follow me on any one of the social media links in the description box below if you're interested in this I'll put a link below for that and also a trailer as well but like I always say proceed with caution there may be spoilers well that's it everybody talk to you later bye